this is Jasmine. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you, yeah. What's going on? Are you here for the interview? Okay. Okay, just give me a sec. I just gotta finish up this. Okay. Sorry about that. What were you saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. I understand. You want to move that to... What are you thinking then instead? So I can talk to Tiffany? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure. Yeah, you know what? Instead of me writing it down, I'm gonna... I'm gonna send you an email. Yes. Yeah, that, that totally works. Um, thank you for letting me know in advance. You know, my schedule's getting crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, look, I have... Um, I actually have someone here for an interview uh, right now. So, yeah, hopefully make my life easier. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I'll... Um, I got it in now. I'll see you soon. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Hello, how are you doing today? Good. Well, I'm so happy that you were able to come in today for this interview. Um, I've got to tell you, there's been a lot on my plate and I am getting rather overwhelmed. So I'm definitely seeking an assistant right now. Yes, yeah, so I currently have um, one assistant, but she's getting ready to go to university um, in a different country, so um, She is gonna help manage some emails and things and she'll definitely show you the ropes before she goes um, should this position work out, but Let me go ahead and pull up your resume. Remind me your name. I'm so sorry. Hi I'm Jasmine. Yes, so good to meet you. So good to meet you. All right, let's go ahead and pull you up here. What was your name? I'm sorry, you just told me. It's how crazy my mind is getting. Okay. And what was your last name? Ah, oh, yes, here you are. Yeah, you had a glowing resume. Um, I love your experience in service. It's obviously very important working with me. So, Let's see here. When did you graduate? Ah, 2018. Okay, so um, I see on your resume here that you worked in customer service. Can you give me a little more background on, on that experience? I'm just going to be taking notes on my computer, so don't mind me. Very type A personality. Okay. So let me ask you, when um, it came to a situation where a customer was unhappy and um, demanded to speak to a manager, what was your approach in that situation? I know we're jumping right into the intensity. Um, however, I don't want you to overthink these answers and I also don't want you to sugarcoat them. Yeah, I'd much rather you just be completely honest because you are completely trainable and that's, I don't expect perfection from my assistants. Um, I just expect them to show up on time and do their absolute best. Okay, so let's get back to that question. If, oh, I'm so sorry, one second. Hello? Yes, Tiffany, can you, can you direct them to my voicemail? Okay. All right, yeah, go ahead and put them through. Hello? Yes, I'm in the meeting, um, I'm skewed. Yes, I'm in the middle of an interview right now. I will absolutely make casseroles for dinner tonight. Is there anything else? Okay. Okay. I'm off at five. Please only call me if it's an emergency. Okay, love you. Bye. Sorry. My husband is just losing it with the kids. Um, so he was asking if I could take care of dinner tonight. Okay, back to the original question. Um, you're in a situation where a customer is not 
completely satisfied, they are begging or demanding to speak to the manager, uh, which would be me in this situation. And let's say I'm unavailable, I'm in the middle of a conference, what is your, what is your train of thought in that moment? Okay. Okay, so you would just direct to email or voicemail? Yeah. No, that sounds great. And now, what I would request in those situations is that you um, BCC yourself so that you can pay attention to what the communication is like through me. And um, because whatever I can do, you pretty much can do as well, unless it's um, a refund over $50. Yeah, you are totally capable of doing that. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you the whole back end and everything. Yeah. Okay. One second here. Okay, I had a list of questions. So I don't forget. Let's see. Okay, another question for you. Um, what is something that you have learned in the last five years um, that you feel has helped in your profession? I love that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, no, that's great. And how do you feel that that affected you as a human overall? Hmm. Okay. okay, so I like to do things a little different than the average interview. That's what you get when you're working for someone who uh, is not a typical corporate person. Um, so I wanted to start with those first two questions just to really kind of get your mind going, get you a little more comfortable. Um, I know it's intimidating at first, but I feel like we get those heebie-jeebies out of the way. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and just put in some information about yourself, um, and we'll get back to the interview questions after. Yeah, and you have nothing to worry about. I always start with the hardest questions, and you passed with flying colors. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Those questions intimidate people. Okay, so I have majority of your information here, but since I have you here, we're just going to make it a little bit faster, and we're going to input just your information, you know, name, address, phone number, emergency contact, things like that. Things Tiffany would typically do for me, but I have her running errands, and I have her just stacked to the brim. So, let's go ahead and pull up my Excel. Okay, so we have your name. Remind your last name. Okay, and what's your date of birth? Okay, what sign is that? I do like astrology a lot, yes. Mmm, I don't know much about that sign. I'll have to check compatibility. Alright, and let's see. What was your occupation before this? Okay. How long were you at that job? Did you enjoy it? That's good. Okay, let's do your home address. in the city and zip code all right so do you have a home phone number it's okay they're becoming rather outdated um selden that was over the last four one more time 
Okay, not that. Alright, and let's do an emergency contact for you. I would prefer a family member, however, I totally understand if that is not an option. Um, a close friend is totally fine as well. Okay. Okay, and what's their relation to you? Cool. Alright, so let's get their last name as well. Home address. What city are they in? And what state? I think that's that's California, no? And zip. Sorry, and phone number. Yeah, go ahead. Take your time. It's gonna have to wait, Tiff. I don't know. Figure it out. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Figure it out. Send him to voicemail. Yes. Thank you. Got it? Okay. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get back to the original questions that I had for you. You're doing great. I know I don't, you know, um, do interviews the way the average person would. So, um, let's go ahead and just do a little bit of background, um, on your degree and why you chose it. It's an interesting one. I'm gonna be taking notes again, okay? Yeah, don't let it distract you. Okay. No, that's great. Yeah. And were you in any extracurricular activities at all? Any sororities or anything? No, that's okay. Mm, no, no, it's not necessary at all. Just something that I like to ask about. Make sure I have your everything as up to date as I can. Okay. So it looks like here you worked for a producer's assistant, which for me caught my attention immediately. Um, I did that back in my day, and I know just how intense it can be uh, working for a producer, especially, I mean, as the assistant, it is pretty intense. So uh, can you give me an idea of what some of your daily tasks were like? Aside from what you put on the resume, share with me some of the things that really made you love the job things that made the job very intense, and again, the, the daily tasks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, it's intense stuff, I get it. Did you have to deal with some difficult clients as well? Oh, the producer itself was tough, huh? I know. I remember a lot about that. <laughs> yep. And how long did you do that for? Okay. It's a long time. Are you guys still in touch? I saw you had them listed as a reference. You guys are still in touch. That's great. Yeah, it can be very hard to keep that relationship positive after such an intense, you know, couple of years. Oh. Looks like my computer just froze. Give me a sec here. There we go. Yeah, it acts up on me. Um. So, do you feel that you see yourself, you know, working um, under one position for the next couple of years? Is this a temporary position for you? Honesty is very important in these situations. I'm sure you can understand why. Yeah. 
Okay, so you're open to temporary, but you would love the idea of growing with. That's a, an amazing answer. And that's something I can say some of my other interviewees have said. Well, yeah, I think it shows that you're kind of willing to do whatever it takes. If that means being temporary and getting the experience, I love the eagerness. Um, but there's also the eagerness to stay and grow. It's very much so um, showing your seriousness of the position, which is just great. Well, so I am looking for somebody um, who can work with me for the next year. I do have you sign a, con a contract, however, it's not binding. It's more so just saying, hey, we both have this intent. Um, if you decide to quit, I'm going to need four weeks notice, not typical two weeks. Um, it Again, th there's nothing that will necessarily... Um, I won't sue you, you won't not get paid, um, but it just goes to show that we've created um, a, a commitment to one another to really see this through and make this work. Um, and really I, I created the contract for the confidentiality and for the four weeks notice because uh, people leaving three days before, even two weeks before, um, can put me in a very stressful situation. So is that a contract you'd be open to signing? Yeah, and you can totally review it and make sure that, you know, you're comfortable with everything that you see. Okay. Um, I do obviously pay for your lunch and your gas every day. Um, and I have to ask because I have a chef who just curates the meals. Um, are are you allergic to anything? Anything I should be aware of? Oh, okay. Anything else? Okay. Any dietary preferences? Vegan, vegetarian, uh, paleo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's really great. It's one of the perks of working here. Um, you will have health insurance, you do have your gas, and your meals covered, um, and my chef is just absolutely incredible. Yeah, he does a great job. When you, when you leave, go through the kitchen and make sure to go say hi to him. He's just wonderful. Okay. And what is your ideal shift? Are you okay with working overtime some days? Yeah, so you do have the option to obviously bring your work home with you, um, but I would prefer you do it all here. I like to keep everything um, under one roof. However, when it comes to your computer, obviously feel free, but obviously if we're managing files, making phone calls, things like that, I would prefer to have it all be done here. You won't, you won't work overtime too often, but if we have a launch and it is crazy, um, I definitely need you here for that. Yeah. Good. Give me just a sec, I'm just gonna... So let's say I want you to start tomorrow. Could you come in at 8 a.m.? Great. Well, I've got good news for you. You are hired. <laughs> yes, you absolutely are. You, I mean, this was an incredible interview and I really think that my team and my business could benefit from having uh, someone like you on our team. It's a small team, it's a team of about five, um, but as my right-hand woman, I definitely think um, you're gonna make my life a lot easier. And as I said, Tiffany is gonna teach you so much. Um, I'm gonna have her get in contact with you. I'm actually gonna dial her and let her know that you are gonna be coming out. And um, if anything, I would love for you to, to go and grab coffee. I'll tell her to pause her work for a moment. Um, that way you two can grab coffee, she can give you a little bit 
more of an idea of some of the work that you're going to be doing for me. But it's all, I mean, you know, some of it is tedious and not the most fun. Won't be like working for a producer. <laughs> um, but, you know, she'll, she'll definitely give you more background. And um, I have your background check already submitted. We did that earlier today. I already had a high interest in your profile. So, um, yeah, let me dial Tiff. Yes. Yeah, I'm delighted to have you. Hi, Tiffany. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, so look, I have the new hire here. Um, if you can, in the next five minutes or so, I thought I had my watch on, um, go ahead. She's going to meet you down at the front. Hi, yeah, so I would love for you to, to go and grab some coffee, maybe down at the Starbucks. Yeah, it's like two minutes down the road, I think, of a walk. Yeah, um, I just want you to give them, you know, a nice little background on the position. Um, she, they're starting tomorrow. Oh. Mm -hmm. They're starting tomorrow at 8. Yeah, so um, clear your books for the next 30 minutes. You can move the meeting with Pam down. And then email the distributor when you get back. Does that work? Okay, let me adjust your calendar. Yeah, so use the business card. Um, yeah, and I'll send you an email with an updated brief for Pam. But I do want you there taking notes, so we're going to push that back by 30 minutes. And yeah, get them taken care of. Good. Yay! Okay, love. All right. Sh yep, they'll they'll be down there soon. Yeah, so just get back as soon as you can, and I'll have them wait in the lobby. Okay, good. Yep. Yeah, bye bye. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and send you your new hire packet. And there you will find the wages that we agreed upon um, prior to this interview and uh, just all the, the get started kit information you'll need um, for getting your computer and um, anything else that you might need, okay? If you need anything, um, yeah, if you need anything, I will include my work number, which I always have on me. And obviously you have my email. I'm so excited to have you get started with us. Yes. Yep. Okay, yeah, you can just go right right down through that door. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m.